Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 30th, 2024. Well, I hope everyone had a great afternoon and ready for another very busy day of earnings and economic numbers here for today. After we saw uh, Google um, report better than expected, popping through to the upside, showing strength there. Snap, Snap started off with kind of a struggle, but ended up um, announcing a $500 million stock buyback, and that really helped push this on higher. And then if we take a look at AMD, AMD started a little bit higher, but ended up moving down overall and throwing just a little bit of bearishness this morning. So that's some of those top earnings for yesterday. How about we take a look at what happened overnight? First off, if we take a look at Asian markets overnight, they ended up mostly lower. Only the Nikkei was um, able to push um, a winning day out by 0.96% but um, Australia was down 0.83%, India was down, Hong Kong down 1.55%, Shanghai down 0.61%, even uh, South Korea was lower overnight. If we take a look at European markets this morning, right now European markets are red across the board. We have the DAX down 0.69%, FTSE down 0.25%, and the CAC down 1.24 percent this morning so feeling a little bit of pressure over there it's only here in the united states that we still have that high energy and high anticipation on these earnings pushing uh, markets up but right now we've got a little bit of um, um, early earnings coming in and the dow has turned negative uh, down 105 points um, 0.27 percent while that's happening though s p 500 futures are up 0.16 percent or nine points and the, the nasdaq up 33 points 0.16 percent this morning pushing to the upside if we take a peek at what's going on in our bonds this morning bonds are easing up just a little bit we have the two-year bonds at 4.08 we have the 10-year bonds at 4.22 and the 30-year bonds at 4.46 as we wait for a gdp number earlier today so they're easing just a tiny bit here um, overall if we take a look at oil futures here this morning xle um, as you can see trying to bounce back up here just a little bit we've got oil futures right now um, up 71 cents at 67.92 a barrel brent crude is up 71 cents at 71.83 a barrel with natural gas continuing to show weakness here down um uh, two two tenths of a cent if we take a look at um, uh, precious metals, boy, gold had a zooming day yesterday, really tearing it up to the upside. And this morning, gold is up $13.50 an ounce, while at the same time, silver, copper, platinum, and palladium are all lower. As a matter of fact, palladium really falling, gapping hard after such a strong meteoric rise to the upside. So we'll want to be keeping an eye on those precious metals today as the U.S. dollar is weakening here just a tiny bit here this morning down four cents. So we'll want to be keeping an eye on that with the EUP trying to weak we can just a tiny little bit if we take a look at cryptos this morning um, bitcoin had a massive day yesterday following through with this pop out of the box pattern here and we've got bitcoin this morning down 494 dollars a coin while ether also having a very big day yesterday is up 47 dollars a coin or uh, 1.79 percent but the majority of coins are lower here this morning in the crypto market so what does all that mean for the day well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the wednesday edition of the morning market prep video
Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Remembering that we want to shake off our bias of what we want the market to do and look at what the charts are potentially telling us and um, try to um, uh, try to just be focused in on what the support resistance and trend are telling us along with that price action. So first off, if we take a look at the diamonds, we do have a little bit of concern here on the diamonds, continuing to show that weakness here. And you can see the, the pre-market here, we have that potential that we could be pushing this lower in here. So the next place, if the bears um, have something to say here, would be to test that little bit of support in the chart right there. And if that were to fail, I'm going to suggest we come on down to test the support of this nice little consolidation in here to see if we can hold on to that. Slipping below that area in here, I do think there is that possibility we could stretch on down to test this area of price support in the chart if those bears were to really get going. Can't say that's going to be the case because there is so much hype on these earnings. It is just remarkable. And um, if we take a look right here, if those bulls were to find inspiration, well, let's see if we can break through that resistance right there, pushing back up. Then I'm going to suggest the top of that big black candle is going to be our next area of resistance. If we can get through those, we'll be back up here testing this resistance in the chart. And you can see beyond that point, there's some levels up here that we would have to deal with on our way back to all time highs in the diamonds. So a little bit of concern here. If we take a look at our moving averages, we're so close to our 50 day moving average here. I would say that 50 day moving average is going to be tugging pretty hard here on the diamonds at this point. And that possibility of a diamonds 50 day moving average test looks pretty likely at the moment. We'll just watch carefully when that happens. I don't know. Watch that carefully. But when we look at the spy, looking at the spy, we are in a very bullish pattern and continue to stay in a bullish pattern. And we'll see if we have enough energy today with the earnings data to push us on through here to the top side. As you can see, if the bulls can push, I'm going to suggest breaking up through that area here first. And then we have that opportunity that we can push right up on here, test those all time highs. And then of course, blue sky above that on the bulls, uh, um, on the S and P 500. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration here today, well, maybe a pushback, test that low of yesterday, see if we can break down through there. And if we can, maybe we start coming back down in here for these levels. Now, I think if we drop into this area of support, there's going to be a little bit of fear coming up because this would technically leave us with a little bit of a lower high. But right now, I got to tell you, I find it because of so much hype and energy in the market, I find that a little bit difficult to envision right now with the big tech reports we have coming this afternoon. There's just so much anticipation and there's so much hope that um, big tech is going to carry the day that, that um, I would find it a little bit hard to believe that we're going to break this down all that much, even if the bears do get a chance to do a little pushing. If we take a look at the QQQ, very much the same thing here. QQQ had a great day yesterday, although um, trying to push on through this um, all-time high is what they really want to do. They really want to catch that headline of the NASDAQ um, getting up there to new record highs. Now, on the NASDAQ index itself, it did get new record highs, but we haven't been able to get that done in the queues. So if the QQQ can continue to see that bullish action, test that resistance up here, and then a breakout blue sky highs on QQQ. And this is a very very, very bullish chart and every reason to believe that's going to occur to have that blue sky high in here on the queues. However, if the bears were to find some inspiration, maybe a pushback to test some support right in here, 
might might come into play and if that were to crack or break maybe coming back down here in the trend to rest on this area of support but even if we were to do that i don't see anything bearish about this chart we would have to break through that trend coming back down into maybe this area here before we'd really raise some concern on the qqq and right now there is just so much attention to big tech. I just can't envision that happening, um, at least um, until maybe the end of the week. We'll see after we get through more of these big tech reports. And then if we take a look at our uh, T21, oh, excuse me, um, let's take a look at our VIX. How about we look at the IWM though first? The Russell, the Russell struggling in here to break through some resistance. It had a pretty good day yesterday, honestly. Um, but if with the bulls can, can push through this next resistance area, then we can push back up here and test this area of resistance in the chart. And you can see if I pull that back, that resistance runs across here quite a ways here. Um, for us to be paying attention to. Breaking through up here, of course, that means we could retest these recent highs and then potentially start pushing on for the 2021, 2022 highs. Unfortunately for IWM, it struggles to find um, energy because when the QQQ has such focus on it, it sucks all the money out of the market and leaves poor IWM kind of languishing here. Um, so I would suspect that that could easily continue um, here, um, that we could easily continue in this consolidating move here on IWM. But if the bears were to find inspiration and push this back down, we'd look for a little support there next level down in here and then of course we would come down into this price support and possibly a little upside trend in here to find that support here in the chart unfortunately if that were to occur we would end up with a um, potential downtrend starting to form here with a lower high and a lower low and i should have mentioned that in the diamonds you could really kind of maybe envision this consolidation if that were to fail that same scenario in here on the diamonds, lower high, lower low. So watch carefully there. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX um, yesterday um, ran up with a little bit of fear. And then as we approach the big tech earnings reports, we kind of faded that back. So we're sitting right here on this price support um, in the chart here again. Um, we're not really um, gaining anything or giving up anything here in the VIX. We still run that potential risk if fear were to come in the market that we have made that higher low. And you'll notice that we've kind of slid out from underneath that little downtrend in here. So it really is imperative for the bulls. If they want to keep pushing the market higher, we need to start to see this VIX um, pushing on down, testing some of these levels of support here in the chart. So we need that to start to occur here eventually. Otherwise, we're winding up for some kind of really big mess here, I think, for the market. If we take a look, if the bulls were to find inspiration, maybe a test of resistance up here. And then, of course, we would be pushing up here into that like 23 handles on the VIX. And then after that, it gets kind of ugly um, for the market. If we take a look at our T2122, our T2122, um, despite the push, now this is gonna change here today because of the gap um, in, the, in the markets. But when you look at T2122, yesterday wasn't all that impressive. Remember, this is the four week new high, new low ratio. You can't mess with this, you can't fake this. Um, it takes the, the entire New York Stock Exchange and plots a four week new high, new low ratio. So although we're getting just this tremendous sense that everything is zoomingly bullish, it's not showing up here in T2122 yet. Now, if the bulls can find inspiration here today, and I'm guessing we're gonna see this move up today because of what happened in tech last night, but watch that carefully. We've got a big upside opportunity for those bulls if they can get going. But then at the same time, we still have some downside opportunity if those bears were to find inspiration. So keep an eye on that. So this was not all that press impressive. And when we look at T2108, 
Percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average declined yesterday. So again, although we moved up, not all that impressive, we're still below our 50% area here in T2108. So we'll wanna be keeping a close eye on that. And if those bulls can find inspiration, let's see if we can get that pump up here. And I think there's a good chance that could occur uh, today. We might get up there and test that 50% area, and maybe break through with the tech hope here in the market. And if the bears were to find inspiration today, well, you can see we could push on down, maybe test this these areas of support in here. But breaking through that 50 day or 50% up here would definitely relieve a little bit of pressure and we might even see some goodness in the VIX if that were to occur and then again if we look at our T2107 T2107 not so impressive yesterday just simply because we um, we see these indexes moving up um, the percentage of stocks above the 200 day yesterday actually declined but the good news here on this is we're still holding well above 50 percent and we didn't break down through this recent low so if the bulls have anything to say here today we need this to push back up and see if we can retest some of this resistance up here in the chart maybe get something going a little bit more and start pushing up through into these areas of the chart if the bears um, have, have anything to say today breaking down below here would raise maybe a little bit of concern as we're trying to float this market higher but we're just not getting the internals to show us that enough stocks are being uh, are participating in that move and we can also see that in t2101 t2101 as we rallied yesterday the breadth of the market declined so we continue to see that um, uh, that concern here it does make me feel like what we're seeing here is possibly the formation of a bit of a retail bubble. Um, there was that story from Zero Hedge that we have insiders selling at um, um, a, a rate almost as high at, or as high as 2020. So the insiders are not feeling all that confident apparently. So we'll want to watch this carefully if something were to break here in the market. Um, we could expect some fast moves overall. Now let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today and our economic calendar well we got a little bit more to consider today on that economic calendar we're first going to be getting our mortgage applications in here watch that carefully here on mortgage applications and then we've got an adp report adp is expecting a pretty substantial decline in um, um, Private payrolls looking at 115,000 down from 143. That might actually help those bonds ease up, which could in turn help the market hold on to this bullishness. So watch carefully there. If we take a look at our GDP number, GDP, they're looking, um, according to um, this source, they're looking for a 3.0 or this to stay flat. Actually, market consensus is suggesting we tick up to 3.1 here on the first preliminary read of GDP. So keep an eye on that. That's certainly a market moving report and one we'll want to consider this morning. We also have a treasury refunding agreement today. We're going to get pending home sales here. They're looking for that to increase to 1.0. Um, I don't know. Oh, that might be a little bit of a stretch just considering the fact that our uh, interest rates have been going up but watch that closely um, certainly is a possibility and then we've got petroleum status survey of business inventory is a four-month bill auction and then we'll be we'll be thinking about uh, Thursday coming up with those jobless claims personal incomes and outlays we're gonna have employment cost index Chicago PMI a natural gas report Fed balance sheet with some bond auctions um, on the day. So keep an eye on that. Now let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar here for today and our earnings calendar just absolutely massive this morning. Right now um, we've got some movement here in the market. Uh, Caterpillar 
um, reporting today just a little bit lower here. Um, Eli Lilly is coming in with a move lower here this morning, just reporting. So keep an eye on those. We're feeling a little bit of pressure in some of these. EAT, however, is looking good here, trying to move on higher. Um, we've got IMAX reporting here this morning. We're gonna hear from KHC, which is moving pretty sharply lower here this morning. Um, so there are a lot of reports. What I'm going to suggest to you everyone is to click the link below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list. And then this afternoon the list is even bigger, but we're going to hear from Meta. Huge anticipation here on Meta after zooming up yesterday, um, pushing uh, that QQQ index higher, and we're going to have Microsoft reporting this afternoon as well and when we get these big tech mega giants out there reporting they certainly can move the market now the question is can they continue to perform at this high level or if there's a stumble just be prepared for pretty substantial pullback but this afternoon we've also got things like uh, Twillow in there will be reporting uh, PetSmart is going to be reporting Starbucks is going to be reporting um, GoDaddy is in there this afternoon so we have a lot of potential reports this afternoon to be paying attention to. The emotions of this market are very high, so keep an eye out for those big pops and drops. Uh, could have a gapping effect tomorrow on the market, either gap up or gap down, depending on the results of those trades. Um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find this video to be useful or helpful to your day, if you could do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that i truly truly appreciate it and if you'd like to see what we do over in right way options and would like to uh, give it a shot um, we are currently running a seven dollar trial for a full 30 days you can come over and spend 30 days with us for seven bucks you can't even buy a burger now for seven bucks and get a full 30 days you can ask me any questions um, and that's available just run over to the hit and run candlesticks website click on the link and you can come on in for seven dollars for the next 30 days let's take a look at a few of these stocks that could be setting up remember everyone these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security you need to do your own due diligence be very very careful in this market and remember that anything is possible possible around these earnings. So follow your rules and your risk tolerance guidelines. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea. So first off, let's take a look. I put an alert here on Micron. Micron, uh, pretty interesting pattern here to me now. And this doesn't report until 1218. So we've got plenty of time on here. And if the big techs are going to continue to pump higher, well, we don't have to take the earnings risk on something like that. We might see um, where um, a Micron would have that opportunity to push on through to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. Micron could be setting up looking good. Edward Life Sciences here um, set up um, a potential alert on this. Now, it's not the cleanest or, or most straightforward chart by any means. You'll notice in here we've got this little upside trend. It's rather flat. We've been struggling in this area since, uh, well, August, struggling in this area to push on higher, trying to hold this support. But if we can get those bulls going here in the market, if we can get them going, then a push through up here, I want you to notice how big um, a potential gap in here that could be filled if that can get going. So keep an eye on Edward Life Sciences. You know, I continue to mention Bumble and it continues to try and then fail and try and fail, but it's not hurting at all the pattern. You can see we have a very bullish pattern here and now we have reached out here toward trend. So look for that opportunity. If we can get bullishness going in the market, 
we might see that opportunity and that pushing on through. You'll notice this has slipped out from underneath that big downtrend here in the chart. So I would watch that one pretty closely. Keep an eye on AT&T. AT&T, an old boring company in here, but uh, well past its earnings um, and looking uh, to be in a bullish pattern resting in this consolidation right in here. Look for that next opportunity as it approaches the trend for that to maybe push on higher. Uh, might be something to be considering for even a longer term hold because of the big dividend payment that um, AT&T provides. So keep an eye on that. You might want to keep an eye on Disney. Disney continuing to set up here. I like this little resting consolidation out here toward the trend. You can see where my alert is. I'm looking for any kind of bullishness here in the market. Might take an opportunity for an entry into that. Uh, keep an eye on Disney. Now it does seem kind of strange that we have had so much bullishness in steel here lately when we've got bond yields going up and the dollar getting stronger but take a look at CLF still holding in a good pattern now I have a bias on this because I am holding it keep an eye on CLF um, that possibility that we could find a little bit of bullish energy here and start pushing on through I'd watch carefully for that opportunity that push up into here could be very interesting. Take a look at um, LAC. I've been mentioning LAC here for a while. As a matter of fact, I am still holding LAC here on this move. So once again, I have a little bit of bias. A lot of folks in RWO made some really good money, took profits on this. Um, I have chosen to hedge this with some options looking for a little rest or consolidation in here. But LAC, what a run to the upside. I wouldn't chase it here, wait for that consolidation or rest. But with all of the big tech giants out there pouring billions of dollars into um, that potential of nuclear power here um, to run their data centers, well, keep an eye on this. That opportunity is there coming in that chart. And then if we take a look at other things in that area, take a look at stocks like UEC on the on the uranium side of things, showing that nice little J-hook type pattern and that opportunity that that could push on through to the upside, holding on to this support up here. Watch that carefully. You could take a look at a CCJ looking good, URA looking good, UUUU looking good. So there's quite a bit going on in that uranium sector to be paying attention to. I would watch those closely as well. Keeping an eye here on some of the, um, um, whoops. Um, let's see, all of a sudden I can't remember the symbol. Um, um, we've got Caesar's Palace in here that um, reported and dropped a little bit below, but coming back up here, as you can see, uh, trying to push back up. But I would keep an eye on uh, stocks like Penn National. Penn National breaking through this resistance here in the chart. Um, a little bit of pullback here on this big run to the upside. If we can rest or pull back and hold this area of price support, I would look for that next opportunity there in Penn National if those casinos can continue to show that bullishness. And I would keep an eye on this guy today as well. This is a very, very bullish chart. Um, Carvana will be reporting today uh, from that alert. Really beautiful, pushing to the upside. Be careful with that earnings. Big moves are possible, but that's still looking pretty good overall. So there's quite a few stocks for you to pay attention today. Of course, remember, you're going to want to pay attention to these all of these earnings reports. There's a lot of potential movement that we could see in the market today. So I want to wish you all the best. Be careful. Be safe. Have a great day. And as always, I wish you all the very best.